debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to provide the framework for handling and claim financial assets to establish the unclaimed financial assets agency and the unclaimed financial assets trust fund and for other matters connected thereto honorable members who recall that the bill was read the first time on wednesday 16 march 2016 now I invite Honorable Abdurrahman Shuaibu Abakar to move that the bill be now read a second time. Honorable Shuaibu, please. Shuaibu, representing Mobi North, Mobi South, and Maiha Federal Constituency of Adama State, with the kind permission of Mr. Speaker and Honorable Colleagues, I move that a bill for an act to provide the framework for handling unclaimed financial assets to establish the unclaimed financial assets agency and the unclaimed financial assets trust fund and for other matters connected there to be read the second time i so move mr speaker arise to second this uh, that this bill be read the second time so important because so many assets on claim dividends are lying fallow in these very various companies it is a very important bill i so second Mr. Speaker, the, the unclaimed financial assets in Nigeria have been on the rise as most Nigerians continue to invest in stock, banks, insurance companies, pension fund managers, etc., which many at times fail to reunify the assets with the owners and beneficiaries whenever challenges arise. Most of the people, in particular, the brief, find themselves doing that, especially after being deceased by their breadwinners. This is because they really trace most of the financial assets owned by these individuals due to the scanty information and lack of an effective reunification system in the country. The situation has continued unabated as a result of lack of proper legislative framework or established policy and procedure for the management of unclaimed property. This is essentially the purpose of this bill, Mr. Speaker. It has a lot of benefits, Mr. Speaker. The benefit, the bill seeks to provide legislative framework for dealing with unclaimed financial assets due to the colossal sums of money represented by unclaimed assets held by financial and other institutions in Nigeria. The need for such legislative framework has been demonstrated by the billions of naira of unclaimed assets in the country. By definition, Mr. Speaker, Unclaimed asset is a financial asset that has had no owner-generated activity for a defined period of time. These include collapsed pyramid schemes, abandoned or dormant bank accounts and insurance policy benefits, unclaimed pension entitlements, bail and bond monies, lotteries and prize monies, unclaimed dividends, abandoned safe deposit box contents. The current international best practice for managing unclaimed financial assets including the management of information related to such assets is the establishment of a mandatory legal and regulatory framework. This typically entails the mandatory identification of unclaimed financial assets, reporting order and remittance of such assets into a central reclaim fund and the establishment of unclaimed assets agency to regulate and manage these assets. The current situation in Nigeria contrasts sharply with the best international practice. It is estimated that unclaimed financial assets in the financial system, the corporate sector and other institutions, including utilities, may exceed 200 billion of Naira. Of this estimate, about 90% or more of these unclaimed assets may never be reunited with their owners or beneficiaries for reasons that include passage of time, date of honors, missing records, change of address, and so many other things. The current framework in Nigeria does not provide for a system of mandatory notification because there is no law. So are, those that are holding these unclaimed assets don't ha uh, are not compelled to report or put notification or reminders to potential unclaimed financial assets owners, nor disclose or, publi or, or, or publicize unclaimed financial assets. Order. Honorable Member, let Mr. Speaker listen to this debate. Implementing effective reunification system will help protect the interests of potential unclaimed financial asset owners 
particularly the most vulnerable owners and beneficiaries, such as widows, orphans, dependents, and others who are less financially literate. It is important to note that the proposed bill makes it mandatory for holding institutions to report on progress of reunification while the assets are in their custody and disclosing the residual value. It further embeds a perpetual right of reclaim and reunification as a core function of a new legal regime, thereby passing the status of limitation of actions. An unclaimed financial asset regime will assist the financial system to, minim to minimize fraud by employees of holding institutions, co corporate malpractice by holding institutions, and promote sound corporate social responsibility through reunification services. It will also raise standards of corporate governance through increasing transparency and accountability in the management of third party assets. The bill proposes the establishment of unclaimed financial asset agency, the creation of a trust fund. The rationale behind this is to separate and ring fence the fund from politicians and bureaucrats. Further, the bill tax the trust fund with making unclaimed assets data on owners public via a searchable database, giving all possible and genuine claimants an equal right and opportunity to the information. Uh, the bill comes in six parts, a schedule and an explanatory memorandum. Part one contains the preliminary provisions. Part two contains wide-ranging provisions and general principles relating to the unclaimed financial assets. These provisions relate to the period of time, the expiry of which unclaimed assets shall be deemed to have been abandoned. In particular, it provides for how travelers' checks and money orders, which remain unclaimed for two years or more from the date of issue, are to be dealt with. It provides that a deposit paid to a utility firm for the provision of service and which remains unclaimed for two years or more from the date of termination of service shall be deemed to have been abandoned. Part two also provides that any payment made pursuant to a court order which remains unclaimed for more than two years from the date of the order shall be deemed to have been abandoned. Part three provides for the manner in which unclaimed financial assets are to be dealt with and the duties incumbent upon holders of unclaimed assets. In particular, a duty is imposed on such a holder of unclaimed financial asset to make reasonable effort to locate the owner of the unclaimed asset and notify such owner accordingly of the existence of the asset. Similarly, the holder of unclaimed assets, which are presumed to be abandoned, is placed under an obligation to compile a report setting out various details pertaining to the asset and submit the same to the unclaimed financial assets authority. The authority is also empowered under this part to take to ask for information from the holder of unclaimed assets which are deemed to have been abandoned. A person filing a report under this part is obliged to deliver the unclaimed asset to the authority at the time of making the report and the authority is thereby required to take custody of the unclaimed asset. Under this part, the authority is also empowered to sell unclaimed assets in its custody upon expiry of three years from the time it took custody of the asset by way of public auction. Similarly, a person claiming an interest in unclaimed asset in the custody of the authority is allowed to lodge a claim with the authority. And if the claim succeeds, the authority is required to deliver the asset, the subject of the claim to the claimant. A person who is aggrieved by the decision of the authority or whose claim is not determined by the authority may seek recourse in a court of law. The authority is required to maintain a database of all the unclaimed assets vested on it under the bill. Part 4 provides for the establishment, powers and functions of the unclaimed financial assets authority. The authority is established as a body corporate and its management is to be vested on a board whose composition is set out in this part. Similarly, the subject, the objects and functions of the authority are set out in this part. Part 5 provides for the establishment of the unclaimed financial assets trust, trust fund, which is to be administered by the authority. There is to be paid into the fund unclaimed assets, which based in the authority under the bill, and the monies realized from the sale of such unclaimed assets by the authority. 
claims for unclaimed claims for unclaimed assets approved by the authority are to be paid from the fund together with the monies to defray the cost of administration of the authority. Part 5, Mr. Speaker, contains miscellaneous provisions. It, among other things, set out offenses under the bill and the attendant penalties. It also empowers the minister to make regulations under the bill on the recommendation of the board of the authority. The bill contains one schedule which deals with supplementary provisions relating to the governing board and an explanatory memorandum. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, by enacting this bill, this legislation, Nigeria will be conforming to international best practice in handling of third-party monies by institutions that exercise fiduciary responsibilities, joining the ranks of Kenya, Malaysia, Ireland, Canada, and the United States. I therefore urge our honorable members to support this bill, though I am very sure that when it comes to public hearing, some of the stakeholders who are beneficiaries of these unclaimed assets may will not be happy with it, but I believe the legislature will stand by its uh, actions and pass this bill so that we can protect the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I saw some meat. Those against, say nay. I serve it. Clark is invited to read the long title of the bill. Financial Access, the established on Clean Financial Access Agency and the Clean Financial Access Trust Fund and for other matters connected here to security.